Hi everyone, today in this video I show how to build a Cardano. For mechanical transmission at home but first of all let's see what Cardano is. The Cardan is what you find in your socket wrenches with the adjustable joint. Basically what you see in the figure, let's simply say that. A Cardano is able to transfer the motion from two points not in axis, so at this point we ask ourselves. The rotation axis of the spider is not centered due to how they are made. They are fine if you have to screw bolts, however, as you can see in the figure. Since the centers of rotation are different and not aligned, it practically rotates on two different axes. And this results in strong vibrations and back and forth oscillations of the two side components. At this point I decided to make one using iron with the commercial profiles that As you can see in the figure, the centers of the rotation axis coincide perfectly with the center of the cardan shaft, the motion is very uniform. Therefore it is suitable for transmitting motion, here you see the final result, as you can see. If you rotate it with a drill, the motion is rather uniform and there are no oscillations. But let's start now to create the central part, the cruise, to do this we will use. An M20 hex nut which is quite large and can therefore be worked. Very easily, so we will make four perpendicular holes on the sides of the nut. As you can see in the figure the result will be this, once these four holes have been made, we will cut a cylinder which we will completely pass inside the nut and two other halves which we will join inside the nut itself, to hold everything in place we will give a few welding points, I used electrode welding, if you have a MIG is better. At this point it is necessary to create the extensions of the rotation axis, to do this. We use side plates made with commercial 25mm by 5mm thick wire. And cut them to size, we will then drill them in the upper part and then round them with. The grindstone, once this is done, we compose our finished cardano or put two on each side and weld them with a third plate each on its end. If there should be some gap between the extensions, we compensate with washers. As you can see in the figure, the realization is quite easy. We see the ends of the rotation axis will be long so we will cut them with a hacksaw or a grinder, at the end our final result will be this. I then passed it with the grinder with the copper disc. In order to give it a little polish and the result you see is precisely this. At this point the holes for the rotation axes are missing, therefore we put all our Cardano in a clamp, marking well the centers that coincide with the center of the cross piece itself and we start drilling. Once the drilling is done we will go to screw, in my case I used threaded rods with hexagonal data but if you want you can also weld too.
because then since I'm not finished yet I'll disassemble it for the last treatment to harden. The metal and thus make it more resistant to use as a transmission block. At this point we're going to do the last process that is the temperature in order. Very high temperature, we will therefore use a butane flame, once the piece is hot we will immerse it in cold water and this will allow us to create a much harder surface than the iron we used, so as we see we heat it for some time until the metal is almost red, when we have done these. Welding operations we will just immerse it in the basin of cold water. Be careful, be careful. When it is immersed in cold water there may be splashes of hot water. The last phase to protect it from external environments is the varnishing. It is not mandatory. Black spray paint. I went and painted everything and this is the final result. If you liked the video you can leave a like, and of course, you can subscribe to my channel, thanks and see you next project.